Um, I have Shelby Pierce with me today. Uh, she lives in Sioux City, Iowa. Sioux City, Ottawa. And I live in Portland, Oregon. And Shelby and I have been talking about some of the, the, the virtues and pleasures and challenges of online facilitation. And she was just telling me about this breakout room thing she figured out. So Shelby, give us this tip about breakout rooms and how to get the right people in the right room. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> um, the first thing is using introductions and welcome to welcome time to survey the room and start looking for um, amongst your participants who seems like they feel like super comfortable and who feels like they're like, oh, another virtual meeting <laughs> to start putting your finger on the pulse of those things. Then um, as close to the beginning as you can have a breakout room with specific instructions. As the tech person, make sure that you stop in the room, in each room, ask everybody how you're go how it's going, and further your read on that. So naturally, those that are really comfortable will step into roles of um, uh, doing the asynchronous things, and you can kind of feel those that might not be as comfortable. And then use that information to build your breakout rooms later on. So the next one, just keep building on that. and. Keep in mind um, length of time with the organization, so institutional knowledge, and uh, maybe their high institutional knowledge, maybe their low, low tech touch. So try, be intentional to pair them with someone who's maybe new to the organization, um, but really good with tech, so that you get that, that flip, so the, the room is still supported, and they can learn from one another. And then also be intentional, at points to uh, know where you can pair the, the, those that are really high tech and been there a long time together so they get a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> That that's a, my yeah that's my that's hot tip your hot tip for making sure that everyone in their breakout room situations has somebody to support them in getting the data input to google slides or mirror board or Jamboard or whatever and i loved it when you said you, you at the beginning you just go into a breakout room and you say so how are you doing and they go we got it <laughs> and so and you can see them writing on the post the virtual post -it notes or whatever you go, okay that's great so you made mm -hmm. uh, you said you wrote down their name okay this person person has yeah. got it. Next time yeah. I'll put them with this person who seems to be, you know, struggling a little bit. Yeah. Awesome tip. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, happy to share. Thanks, Barb.